Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, this beautiful flower is just now opening this morning <laughs> and it's casting a little shadow right there on the only solar panel I have going into the <laughs> bungalow. But that's okay, the sun will get up past that flower in just a minute. So yeah, the sun's coming up in the east right now. Pretty early in the day, hoping to get some good solar today as most of the systems are running just a tad low. And I need some power. And I'm moving things around just as much as I can to get that done and get the shop set up. And right here is 100 watts of solar and it's charging a uh, battery box right now. And that 100 watts is pumping up that Red Odo 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery which is inside of there and it's about 13.6-ish as you can see right there. And under the canopy here I've got those 240 watts of foldable solar panels out there in their temporary spot charging up this Opus. But right now, a measly 12 watts coming in there. So this system's pretty low. Hope it gets up to a fairly good charge there today. Anyway, just using these little portable power stations to run things in the shop right now. But I do have something else hooked up, which will get me uh, up and running here pretty quick. And they're talking significant rain coming and when they say significant rain out here, I pay attention because this place gets significant rain. So I'm going to try and get a lot of this old scrap and some of it not so scrap stacked up underneath this canopy today and keep it dry. I got a bunch of stuff here that's going to be part of a porch. I'm going to get it stacked up in here, but I'll show you what's going on inside. So having lots of fun getting this place set up. I've been working in here in the evenings using those portable power stations for lights and whatnot. And I need a little more power to get a few things done. And with some significant weather coming in, supposedly, I'm going to try and get a bunch of that stuff done today. So because I'm not really keeping up with those portable power stations, although they have done great for the past few days, uh, I'm, I need more power. And I've started laying out my next system, which will be the first system I tie up in here. And I'm going to use those two uh, go kilowatt hour, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. Those are the ones with the pouch cells. I've done a review on those if you're interested in going back and looking at that. But I've got enough components uh, out here to build a nice 12 volt system so i will be tying those two in parallel together to make a 200 amp hour bank and i've got this old inverter that works quite well uh, i've got the victron uh, 130 mppt i've got all my cables and fuses and so solar panel cables and i've got solar as well and i'm going to tie up uh, i think i'll start with 400 watts on this system and right now I have no power coming into here. This battery here is basically 100% full and I've already just tied in this inverter to there with an extension cord so I can have uh, my lights, which I'll click on here and show you, but at night it makes a big difference. So there uh, came one of my shop lights, just got it hanging there and a lamp. So I'm up here uh, this evening, I'll be able to put a little work board on the back there and start laying these out the way that I want them and make sure that I've got everything I need, but I'm pretty sure I've got everything. But right now, uh, yeah, I've got a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Of course, I'll never try and pull 1500 watts off of these. In fact, I have nothing that'll pull more than a thousand watts. So I'm good there. Uh, and that's what I needed right now is a little bit more power because those power boxes and power stations uh, have been running a little bit low. 
So yeah, I plan on building this entire system on my workbench here. And like I said, what I will do is I will uh, put all of the components exactly the way I want them on a board. And when it's done, I can just simply unscrew the board off of that wall and disconnect it and put it exactly where I want, which I'm not exactly sure where I want it. Uh, I thought about uh, putting it in this corner, but I'm not sure. I think I might put it in a different corner. But anyway, I will make sure it all goes together here first, which is the way I like to do that as opposed to crawling around on my hands and knees like I've done in the past. Now that I have a proper workbench, I can lay it out and fiddle around and make sure I've got everything, uh, all the wires and everything cut exactly the way I want, fasten them to the board, and then... Like I said, just pick that board up off the wall when I'm done, uh, screw it up to the wall that I want it all connected to and tie in the batteries and the solar and I'll be up and running with 200 amp hours of, of battery bank. And that should be absolutely fine for in here. So uh, some of these components may not get used, but I think pretty much I'm gonna use everything right here. And even as a cloud moves by right now, this it's a, it gets a little dark in here. Um, so the light is really helping me quite a bit and this one here too. Yeah. So this is going to be a great little workspace for me and I can just wheel around on my easy chair <laughs> instead of on my hands and knees. So yeah, getting pretty excited about that. I plan to have most of this uh, ready to go uh, this evening, but in the meantime, uh, you know, I've got plenty of power here because if I drain that one, I can hook it up to that one while I'm doing all of this. I can drain that one, and if I have to, I'll drop down there and hook up that one. So, um, yeah, plenty of power to get this project done. And then when the solar's all tied in, uh, the shop will be up and running. So I'm absolutely loving having a, a six-foot uh, workbench here, and then I can just slide on down where I can take care of some other business. Got my little shortwave radio there listening to what's happening around the world. I can do some work on the computer, put these videos together. It makes it just really, really a nice little workstation for me. Yeah, very happy about this. So it's all coming together. Yeah, and I'm just wheeling around. <laughs> ah, giving the knees a break. Very nice. So this is the first workshop space I have ever had. And I'm getting to be an older guy, and I just can't tell you how great this feels. And I know a lot of you that have workshops know exactly what I mean, but a real working space where it can just be dedicated to tinkering around in comfort. And that was, you know, of course, the main goal here was to make things comfortable. And I can look out the window, down at the house. Yeah, very happy about this. So lots to do, pacing myself, but loving having a workspace. Everything's getting organized. Yeah, hopefully it will be a beautiful day today. Looks like we'll get a few showers, but that's normal. Just do what I can. At least I've got a nice dry spot to keep on plugging along. I'll try and get what I can before the rain really starts pumping in here. Pretty happy about everything. Hope you guys are too. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, be happy. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. I can't wait to show you what's coming up next. As always, aloha. Yeah. Okay. I got to wander down here, pick up a few things and haul them up here. Get my steps in. All in all, a beautiful day. No complaints. And take time to enjoy the beauty around you, wherever you are. You don't have to look very far.